My friends, welcome back. We're playing Stellars of the Commonwealth of Man. I'm Dale Fix. Hopefully you are going to be enjoying your time. We just ended the war in our last episode, so let's make sure that our science ship is uh, is busy with... Um, well, it needs a leader, apparently. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed it needed a leader? Um, economy is a climbing. I'm quite happy about that. Let's take the, the one that has the least age. What else can we do? Because we, we definitely are having a tiny bit of a problem, especially because we are lacking some houses um, that will probably have fixed. Let, let's just get rid of that. What do we lack? We are lacking 316 minerals. Um, can you be rebuilding this one as well? Number is 40. No, you cannot. But this one has. So let's make sure we get all of that back. We are going to be making sure we get um let's sell as much as we can just to boost our minerals a tiny bit and we can actually upgrade this will um give us um as you can see enforcer jobs housing amenities and administrator jobs so it will create jobs but it also will create housing and i think that's the uh, the best option um we are lacking food but we're almost out of the negative let's buy 100 again and let's see are we going to continue with supremacy? And I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm actually considering going in prosperity. A mining station output by 10%. That is quite nice. But also building upkeep and district upkeep reduced by 10%. Um, that is consumed in your energy. And we are consuming 436. So that could actually do our economy wonders. Specialist output is absolutely great because that will also boost up alloy production. City districts will add a cleric, so they will get a um, another job that will provide you with trade value. You have your standard construction template. Building and district cost is reduced by 10%. Building speed is increased by 25 Not too important, but your city districts will provide an additional one in housing, which is absolutely great. So I'm actually considering just popping in this one. And, and that will help us, especially with uh, money and, and, and minerals and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't feel like reading it at the moment. So you're going up there. Are you going to research that? That would be such a move. I'm, I'm really happy about the way this war went. Um, speaking of which, let's downgrade a few of these, um, these stations, which we don't need or don't want. Um, Tabat is going to be very nice not with the solar panel um, but we definitely probably are going to be making it into our our shipyard or there is a lot of uh, of trade value there we could actually flip it and make it um, into trade value this one is not going to be um, shall we keep it or shall we remove it that is the question let's downgrade you we don't need you no more you Let's just downgrade you for now. It will um, open up some opportunities to expand a base in here. Because I want to have one in here. I want to keep this one. You are going to be downgraded. Because we don't need you at that location. I want to have one over here. And I want one in here. Because of this gateway. We don't need uh, enemy. Eventually you can open these gateways. Um, there's a technology for it. And you will get it. You research it. And you can open these gateways. Uh, unfortunately, if you can go through it, your enemy can as well. And once that happens, uh, you can guess, then, um, yeah, uh, you will open up a, a completely new area for enemies. So we want to get an, uh, stations up at these areas as well. And it is, isn't doing anything for our naval cap. We're not even close to that. We do want to build this up completely because we are giving the hive mind... Uh, more time to prepare and we also should probably get a listening post in here so maybe just get the listening post in there and once we upgrade it we'll do something else actually considering getting the crew quarters in here as well uh, just so we can use the ships in this area because this is our bastion this is the most important station against our most aggressive enemy um, why can we not do this defensive pack? Construction complete. Um, maximum trust is 75 due to non-aggression pack. 
could we get close? Because this would really benefit us. However, they probably don't like the fact, let's see, that we have claims. Maybe we should get rid of the claims. Maybe, just for now. Forget what I said earlier on. Let's um, get rid of some of these claims. We can always reclaim them. So make the claims. That should, in theory, make them very happy. And the first one. There you go, 100 and 1. That should get us to a plus 1 in accepting a defensive pack. They are superior. They are um, rivaling. They're not at war. Let's offer them a trade deal. And let's um, offer them some... Oh, you can actually add more like this. Oh, of course you, you can. That would be weird if you couldn't. Um, this, this is probably... Oh, no! No, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Did I just trade away 10? Oh, wow. Luckily, it's just, just for a year. Don't do what I do. Don't, don't you ever do. Don't, don't, don't do this. Damn, monthly minerals. Oh, that is devastating. What an idiot. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was definitely in their favor. Mm -hmm. So now we got two friends. And, and they don't like each other. Eventually we'll have to make a decision. And I'm probably deciding that we should eradicate these fellas. But right now. Right now we need to make sure that we actually focus on economy. We don't have to do it at the slow speed. We have got about uh, I think like 8 years until these hives um, become quite annoying again. Mm, yeah that's about 8 years. We need to build up our station. We need to build up our fleets. There is so, so much we need to do. Um, once this listening post is done, I actually would like to upgrade you. I should also go into a second fleet. I usually make sure I get two or three fleets early on because it will actually help. Uh, it, it will just make things fast. Like you can just occupy three systems at a go and just, just snowball, you know? And I'm, I'm focusing on one fleet. Perhaps not the best decision, but this is Strike Force Titan. It needs to be big. It needs to be big. Uh, let's buy another hundred of you. Uh, consumer goods, we uh, definitely need to tackle. We have four available jobs, so we're almost there. We're, we're close to being there. And we're starting to fill this. They don't like it here. No, no, they, they definitely hate it. Um, well, it, they just have to do. I don't want to lose these planets. I think if I lose these planets... It might just hurt me at uh, in the end. So we don't want it. So we're, we're going to allow to uh, keep these planets and, and grow them. Negative three jobs available. We could transfer. Um, we could transfer a criminal. Don't really feel like it. It doesn't help us. I don't think so. I don't think if I can do like one, two, three, four, five. I don't think it will actually work. As, uh, I'm, actually, we are having zero now. That's weird. You're not working, but you are doing completely nothing. Such a shame. They're doing nothing at all. Extermination speed there at 600%. And we are building up uh, the slaves, which is great. So, food. Negative nine. We definitely want to do something about it. Let's go to the fastest speed. Now, we have our fleet. Um, we're going to be making sure that our fleet is going to be following our, uh, our army's fleet is going to be following our naval fleet at all times. So just right click on that. Construction has been done. Cool. Yeah, we want to make sure that we are doing new districts at soon, as soon as um, we have no jobs. Let's upgrade you. Planetary administration. We don't have a lot to do in those just now. We can't do those. How about you? Amenities and housing. What are we lacking? 40 population. Commercial zone is great because it did provide us with a lot of amenities. But I'm thinking about... There you go. So our problem is we are not having enough workers. And those workers don't create those 
entities. That's why we're having a negative on entities. We'd actually just have to tackle their um, housing. So let's tackle that by making a agricultural district. You are still ruined and I would like to repair you uh, at the whopping cost of 32 minerals. That's actually not too bad. Slave pops are being sold. We could actually do that. Um, we could go to the market, to the slave market. Let's see if we can actually get a slave popping in here because some are selling but they're just disappearing like so so fast there we go we have no pause we don't have the uh, uh that amount just yet but i will make sure that we do so you if we click you you can see what habitability they would have to our um yeah uh, that's 60 percent. there you go but you Six. Now 60 is fine, we can actually work with 60. Uh, sometimes getting these slaves is absolutely nice. Uh, especially once you have a lot of jobs unfilled. And that you want to be filling. We already have a lack of housing, so let's buy you over there. And it will provide us with uh, something. It's great. Chemical plants. We can now turn minerals into volatile modes. Which is absolutely fantastic. Ooh, tough decision. Energy Nexus is amazing. However, you re will require those exotic gases and we don't have them. Uh, excellent razors, we have enough, I believe, in terms of power. Yeah, we have more than enough in terms of power. So let's go for the weapon. Let's go for the X-ray lasers. Let's make sure that the hive is getting more problems as soon as... As they're back. So let's take a quick look. Large fleet here. 3.5k. Still no missiles. That's great. I really like to see. We could actually use missiles against them. I was hoping that we could actually see our uh, other neighbor's fleets. Like we do with all of the others. But we can't unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. What can you do? Let's make sure that we absolutely increase our fleet to the maximum. That is what my goal is going to be. And you should have that same goal. We have a unemployed worker. And food is on plus one. Energy is doing good. Let's get some more food in there once we get the minerals. Let's start building that. So don't build too much, because if you build too much, it will just drag your economy down. Um, if you go into population, you can actually, if you are lacking something that is so important for you, you can say, I want you to focus on, on, on some of this. Uh, let's see, so we have a, a lack of amenities over here. So if we click this button, it will just get one away from the energy, but we should get um, the amenities that we... Uh, Desperately uh, the need or deserve. Sometimes you just have to play a bit with your population And especially if you're running there on six, it's not, never a good sign And uh, this will make your people a lot more happy and they will be more productive indeed This won't change immediately. I don't believe so. It should be There you go up by now So let's click that away. Sometimes you just have to go over your planet and and just you know, manage things by hand and yes, it will drag some of your economy down. But the only thing down at the moment is uh, consumer goods, which we are definitely in need of buying. Do like 50, not too much. So we're making 50 alloys. And I'm actually still feeling that we are way behind. I, I need like 100 alloys. Um, but well, you can't have it all, right? Did we build a colony ship? I don't think we did. So we need to wait. We need to wait and make it happen. Because as soon as this planet is colonized, it will start creating population for us. And at some point you won't have anything left to build on your planet. So, and you can probably just get away with building them up with stronghold. Now the reason for that is... Soldiers increase naval capacity and spawn defensive armies. And you will get three jobs for that. This plant can only support 10 buildings, we, we are aware of that. But I just wanted to show you, if you're lacking naval capacity, you might want, and you don't have anything left you want to build on the planet, just, just pop in a few strongholds. 
it's it's good for both things because enemy armies will have a more difficult um, time with you which is great you don't want to um, make it too easy for your allies or actually for your enemies because why would we it is not in our nature uh, population we're li lacking the cleric here so we don't have to uh, focus on that uh, agricultural world i do want to boost up my food production and the main reason is i want to be using the decision um to population growth speed more as well as in the um the edict here once we have the finances i want to get population growth speed uh, perhaps and some farming subsidies is not too interesting for me um, but I would really like to get the one which actually boosts the minerals. So yeah, what are you doing? You are not doing anything, huh? Go here and assist in the research. How about you? What are you doing? Nothing. Excavate side then. I believe you're still working on that. Uh, we got this system now under control. We can't build these two stations, which is a shame because it is quite good. 5 energy, 8 minerals. So we need to wait. We need to wait a tiny bit. While, of course, increasing that fleet. The fleet is what will keep us alive. Oh, great. Peaceful traders. Yay. Mm. We, are, we got almost half of the galaxy uh, discovered. That's great. Really like that. What are you turn into overwhelming? Yeah, that figures. You are going to be such a problem. That's why I'm hoping to see that fleet. I'm hoping that they are going to war with the hives. And we can actually start focusing our fleets on their navies. We got some safe borders. Um, they will definitely have a problem. And we can backstab them. We could. I don't think that's going to be a good decision. We want to keep our allies around for more time. Eventually, we will be overwhelming. We can probably get away with um, demanding vassalization or subjugation, Something like that. Just making sure that they will be working for us. Very important. So, I was going to add the crew quarters over here. And it will cost us a tiny bit of defensive power. But having a place where our fleet can be without having to worry about costing you a additional 25% would be very nice. And then we'll be, once this fleet is done, once it's full, we are going to be focusing on a new fleet. Uh, oh, there we go. The hives as well as the empire are now going to be uh, at war. We have low stability. Enmity problem. That should help with the Stability. Who else? Risk called Prime. Focus on the amenities. Thank you very much. It is something that you will have to address. Um, two workers, not enough amenities. It, it's going to be a problem. Hmm. Actually, well, this is so many jobs. I don't want to wreck my planet already with that. Hmm. Let's just wait for now. Oh, there you go. We want to get capacity overload immediately. Uh, we we're going to be taking a look at their fleet. I'm very certain that we are going to be seeing them. And look at that. They already have built it up to 10k. Can, can you believe that? They built up to 10 bloody k already. And we're still struggling at 4.8. That just shows you... Your alloys, your alloys are a problem. And not only my alloys, it is also the amount of people in my system. We need to focus a tiny bit more on getting a one or two, well actually like, like a lot of slaves in here. Just to fill up our planets a bit more. Making zero in energy credits, that's, that's hideous. That is just hideous. So let's wait until a few slaves pop in. Plus one, that already makes me uh, happy a tiny bit more. There you go. So, we got a enemy fleet here. 5.6k. And they are fighting this fleet, which is uh, unable for me to see. Let's go into the station. 2.6, 6, 
Yeah, the hives are going to get wrecked. Which is fine. Let's take a quick look. So, you are using Plasma Accelerations, which is definitely strong against Armor and Hull. And a tiny bit of shield uh, damage. So, we want to be flipping to more shields. As for your frigates, it's point defense. So, we, can't, we don't have to use missiles. It won't work. But we want to focus on... Uh, doing shield damage and having shields ourselves let's see so we got a pricket in here are we using those no i believe the interceptors afterburners yeah let's save the afterburners i didn't do that if a slot was not filled it will not fill automatically and you'll have to go in there and and make sure it uh, it happens uh let's check if all of this works okay so we want to focus on shield damage hmm. this doesn't work for us this could work I was hoping for better weapons against shields. Maybe we can use the disruptors. Let's see, what is the difference? 90, 50, 40. Um, only, only the range is going down. Oh, well. Also, the cooldown time is increasing from 6.10. And this one is 4.6. So it's actually a lot. I'm thinking we actually might be. They, uh, it is armor damage. We are lacking shield damage so badly. Okay, let's not focus on that right now. We'll do that later, once our fleet is there. Um, critical food shortage. Yeah, that's never a good sign. There you go. That should boost up a few other things though. But this, this is not good. This is horrible. We are just, just afloat. We want to fix that. Too many jobs here already. There's not, in, there's, there's actually no jobs here. Let's make sure that we actually are working the civilian industries. And it, it is a population thing at the moment. I do not want to change anything to my alloys. Alloys will make your enemy or your actually your um civilization survive it's easy as that and we're now building up the uh, the, the uh, destroyers and and they are without a bloody doubt going to be my next target and you could see that over here well what i talked about last time did you go away because you scared the living shit out of me Um, is, um, this one is, um, a vessel and they have a defensive pack. So we are actually not as, look, they probably won't be attacking us anytime soon because we have a defensive pack with these guys. And I don't believe they are currently at war. They have a trade deal with us, which is very much in their favor because I'm an idiot. And we got these guys who are also keen on defending us. So maybe they won't attack us. Maybe they do. Um, it's a matter of, uh, of time, I guess. We'll see. Found a species sold on the market. 50 energy. That is what I want to see. But we need more slaves. Oh, it's 24 minutes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um... I'll see you next time. I might go and buy some slaves of the market if I can see them. Try to fix my economy a tiny bit. Um, because it's, it's just... It's now playing the, the upgrading game. I won't do drastic changes. But it is possible that we skip one or two years. And I um, hope you're okay with that. As for now, thank you for watching. And I do hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.